Cours 4 l'eau, hein? Quoi? 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 Ok. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> you know what time it is. So as you can see in the title down below, yes, this is a giveaway video, okay? Can we start at how I wanted to do a giveaway video for 2,000 subscribers? And then I put up my most viewed video on my channel right now, which is um, his wife texted me at 1 a.m. I'll link it down below if you haven't seen it yet why um but essentially i put up that video and i have never seen so many views and comments on my channel ever like for me i'm a very small youtuber i'm very small okay i'm very small and when i put up that video i thought ah, let me do a chat to get ready with me which would be a story time and share that with you guys and wowza did i not realize that i would get so much attention on that video so thank you so much to everybody who subscribed to the channel even since after that video because right now the channel is sitting on i think 3800 subscribers and it literally jumped from 2000 to 3000 in a matter of a couple of days so i was i was i was sure so this giveaway is going to be for 3,000 subscribers we're going to make it for 3,000 subscribers and I want this one to be a really personal giveaway something that um, yeah just it, it means a lot to me that this has happened on my channel I never thought this would be a thing so, so thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed ever since and everybody who's been subscribed you guys are my day ones you're my OGs I really really do appreciate and if you haven't subscribed and you're watching this video then why yeah <laughs> click it i put up an instagram post to say that uh, my giveaway video will be mixed together with a q a and ask me whatever you want to ask me like let's go let's do it let's do it so i've got the questions of course on my earphone and um we are i'm gonna go through some of the questions i've got quite a lot so i don't think they'll be you know i'm just gonna Go through some of them now and then i'm going to give you the giveaway details as we continue so let's go let's get going get it going get it go okay um uh, first question is from simnigiwe simnigiwe m and she says how do you maintain your faith especially when times are trying and hard you know it's a very very good question because at times i also feel like my faith wavers quite a lot to maintain my faith honestly is just to pray like i pray a lot i pray every evening and i read my devotional you guys know about the marion williamson devotional that i read and i read my bible and i pray every single day and even when times are trying and hard i always 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 resort to the alpha and omega and i pray and i hope and pray for the best and often god doesn't let us down he never does he never does he never lets us down he's always there good bad i pray and i thank him for when things are going good and i thank him for when things are going bad because i know that he will not give me something i cannot handle and i thank him for it and i ask for his guidance and his strength and his wisdom and i hope for the best and normally it turns out to be okay so i think just if if whatever faith you are when times are trying and hard come back to your faith come back to yourself and just take a moment and pause and you know reassess things tapi m asks where is jomo <laughs> if you do not know who jomo is then you haven't watched the video that is now sitting on forty thousand views you should watch it then you would know who jomo is i have no idea where he is um i remember reading a comment saying that i'm clearly not over it if i'm not talking about it i couldn't care less like that's my response to that comment but i honestly don't know where he is i don't know where he is and i'm i'm perfectly okay with that too queen dudu asks how do you manage to keep the lifestyle that you're living most of us struggle to keep up i don't know in what sense you mean keep the lifestyle i'm living i mean the lifestyle i'm living is my life it's what i've known it's what it's it's every day to me so if you mean the lifestyle in terms of the eating healthy and whatever it's my life if you mean what you see on instagram it's my life there isn't anything that i am hiding from anyone even on instagram i don't portray a life i'm not living that's just that's just pretty much it i don't know any other 
you know, I just, I just keep going. I hit the ground running every single day hard and I keep going. What are some of your highlights this year? Lessons learned, the weight loss, what inspired it? Okay, highlights, definitely the changing how I eat and deciding and choosing to live a healthier lifestyle is definitely a highlight of mine. It is very challenging. It's not easy to live a healthy lifestyle. It's not easy on you personally and on uh, your pockets. So that is definitely a highlight for the mere fact that I managed to keep that up and not give up on myself and uh, choose, like willingly choose to want to live and eat and be healthier for me is uh, a big highlight. Um, work has been great. They've been really, really great highlights. I just don't talk much about work. Uh, but um, the company that I work for won um, some awards this year and things like that we won an award this year. And that was nice. That was a really great highlight and I got to receive that award and it was, it, that was nice. Um, my channel growing is a really, really big highlight for me. I mean, I cannot believe it. It's, it's a big deal. Um, and even in my personal space, I've, um, done some very, very big and bold moves, uh, in terms of property, uh, paid off a property this year and stuff like that. So it's, they've been really great highlights. It's just that I don't talk much about them, especially if they're more on the personal side, because I want this channel to be me yes but um things in terms of financially and things like that ugh, i don't see the point or in terms of family life i don't see the point or private life i don't see the point so yeah they, they've been quite a lot of highlights um what inspired the weight loss journey the weight loss came with me choosing to be healthier um i knew that I knew that I had never been as heavy as I was when I started to choose to be healthier. I wanted to be healthier for myself. I started not feeling okay. I was feeling tired, sick. I was getting sick quite a lot, weak quite a lot. Um, couldn't go up a flight of stairs without just <gasps> and I was just like, nah, this is not for me. I mean, I can, I'm in a position where I can afford to change the way I live and the way I eat and I, I just I just chose to do that for the sake of becoming better for me. The next question is from Spoomies R. How do you balance YouTube and your nine to five? I get this question a lot because a lot of people just seem to be like, how do you keep pushing out these videos all the time and you go to work? I go to work, sometimes I have to bring back work home, but I make time for YouTube because I love it. Uh, for me, it's, um, I, I always go back to what Sibu said. For me, it's therapy. I enjoy it. I sit in this uh, chair and I look into the camera and I know I'm looking at you guys and I'm speaking to you guys and, you know, the responses, the interactions that we have on my social media, the comments, the DMs, the inboxes, all that jazz. It, it makes me happy to know that I'm reaching people in a certain way with some of my videos. And then there's the casual videos where people just watch to just get away and enjoy. And I love doing that for people. I love talking as well. So I talk a lot and uh, I, I love to just sit in front of the camera and talk. And after I get up, I feel so much better. I also make time for this. I'll film early in the morning if I want my afternoon to be free that kind of thing. Uh, the next question is from uh, underscore underscore home slice and she says do you think you've reached where you want to be in this thing called life and why? No, I haven't. I feel like there's so much that I want to accomplish and achieve. There's so many avenues of um, you know personal growth and personal development that I want to um, like move towards the direction that I want to move towards. I want to do something in motivation and motivational speaking. I also want to do something in personal growth and development, um, personally, financially, and otherwise. And there's so many things that I want to do, but I feel like the year has gone by so quickly that I haven't had time to exercise and put into action all the ideas. Yeah, I feel like I could do so much more. So I'm not quite there yet. I'm not quite there yet. For me and my standards, I'm not quite there yet. Spaghetti. Spaghetti toe. Spaghetti o. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> she says, uh, shoo, life after matric advices. Okay, life after matric advice. Basically, um, do not be hard on yourself. Um, life after matric is going to get really, really complicated and really, really fast. 
uh, you have to make decisions, you feel like you sort of like have to grow up overnight. Um, you have to be more responsible, you have to go to your lectures. If you don't want to, you don't have to. It's not like school, you know, where you have to go to school every day. You have to be responsible, you have to, but the thing is, don't be so hard on yourself. It's gonna get complicated real fast, real quick, but put your head to the ground and ground yourself with all the things and the people that have meaning to you and have meaning for you because that will be the most important thing that will get you through life after matric. Know what you want and if you feel like you cannot decide what you want to study, then it's okay. It's not a big deal. Do not do things that you are forced to do because you feel like you have to do them to appease someone else. But at the same time, don't be too hard on yourself. Give yourself that time to make mistakes. You're going to make quite a few mistakes. You're going to be hurt. You're going to be heartbroken. You're going to be broke. You're going to, there's going to be so many things, you know, your parents are gonna just slowly let the leash loose a little bit and you're gonna find yourself wandering and that's okay too so you just need to just ground yourself with all the things that have meaning for you and have meaning to you and you'll be a-okay okay. two was how to always be motivated honestly um, I motivate myself with the things I find passion in. So YouTube is a way in which I motivate myself. My job is a way in which I motivate myself. I love my job. Um, I love what I have, what I've accomplished, and I feel like it's motivation to want to do things to be better, to do more, and to, you know? So um, I think finding the, 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 the passion and what drives you will always be a motivating factor. That's the most important thing for me. Three, T on being an SA YouTuber. Girl, <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Forget, forget the lips, forget all that that I just did, forget that. Uh, but that is a whole nother video. If you really do want to see a video called T on YouTube, maybe not even just SA YouTube, but YouTube, let me know. Like the video, subscribe and comment and let me know that you would like to see a video that says T on YouTube. I'll make a video, but there's too much. There's too, way too much, too much. Foundation to use for summer and winter. Foundation to use for summer and winter for me, I love Estee Lauder. I love it more, uh, Estee Lauder double wear, I love it more for winter, but I also, because it's matte, it's beautiful, but I also love it for summer. But if I want something that is uh, glowing and very nice and dewy, I love the uh, Tom Ford Traceless Perfecting Foundation. But, okay, we know that one's a little on the expensive side, but I also love, um, Lancome Tarte Tar Idol Foundation. Really, yeah, 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 yeah. The last question will be, what has been your proudest moment in life thus far? You might have a few, but which one stands out? Whoa! Proudest moment was when I bought uh, my first property. When I bought my first, <laughs> when I bought my first property and when I bought my first car. Proud moments, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, I bought a house, I got a home loan and everything and blah blah blah. And when I paid it off, that first property, when I paid that first property off, I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So, yeah, okay, so now we are going to talk about the giveaway. Gun, 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 Q. Ah, ah, Q. Okay. The giveaway is going to be very, very simple. The giveaway is going to be spending a day with me or rather a half day with me not a day i'm not going to wake you up early in the morning and ask you to come spend the day with me a uh, half day with me basically if you have watched my video my last vlog where my family and i go to marvel basically the giveaway is going to be a lunch date with me full-on three five course meal whatever we're going to spend a whole lot of time and uh we are going to go on lunch i'm very very sorry for the people who are not in the johannesburg vicinity area but i've got something special for you and i will do that on instagram but pretty much it's going to be a lunch date with me along with some presents as well for me you guys know i love beauty so do consider that there will be a beauty, there will be some beauty bits in there and there will be some lifestyle bits as well in there. So it's going to be a nice present from me and we are going to go out and we are going to indulge ourselves in our youth. We are going to have some good food and we are going to talk and we're going to bond and we're going to have some fun. And this is going to be 
for me for me yeah me myself and a very very lucky special one of you guys so the only thing that i request this is now what you need to do right so to be able to be eligible for this competition or this giveaway to be able to be eligible to stand a chance to win in this giveaway you need to have followed me on my instagram and on the youtube channel so you have to be i will check i will i will check i will check you need to be following me on my instagram and my youtube channel secondly you need to comment on this video below this is for the people who want the marble date you need to comment on this video below and tell me what about this channel do you love and what you would like to see from it that's it that's it what about this channel do you love i'd really like to know because i'd like to build on that so what about this channel do you love and what would you like to see from it this is for the Joburg followers this is for someone who is in johannesburg i'm really really sorry if you're not from johannesburg but if you're not there will be once this video goes out the next day there will be a giveaway competition for people from outside of Joburg where I will be buying you something really really special and I'll send it to you but I will give you the details for that on Instagram but then the thing is you have to be following YouTube and Instagram that's it that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you in the next one and okay I'll talk to you in the next video see you very very soon don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share the channel, talk to the people, and I'll see you in the next one.